Jane Austen's Candy. The book. No body shaming over here. Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace, author of 10 young adult novels so far. Um, I was not actually prepared to film this video today, but um, in the midst of packing up my life to move to the farm for the summer, um, I was thinking about it and was like, well, if I don't do it here, now, today, and I wait to do it at the farm when I'm like actually ready to do it, I won't have the necessary props. <laughs> so <laughs> we're doing it now. Um, this thing came in the mail. We're not actually doing it now, but we're doing like the intro now so I can use the props and then we will do that part when I'm actually ready for it. If you're following. You're not following. You have no idea what I'm talking about. It's fine. So, um, long, long ago, in 2019, I want to say, that was only five years ago, but feels like ages. Anyway, um, at some point previously, I read this little book that changed my world, okay? Called The Stolen Kingdom. Um, amazing. Loved it. Immediately became obsessed, okay? After reading this, I bought the rest of the series. Um, and they're gorgeous, and we love them, okay? And we read them all, and there are vlogs of all of that on the channel. They're in cards. They're, they will, there will be so many, so many the max amount of cards that you can have will be had on this video. Anyway, so I read all four of those books, bought them, admired them. Okay, and then Bethany had the audacity to change her covers to people. Okay, so obviously I had to buy the whole series again with the pretty people in hardback. And um, I had to read the series again, you know, for funsies which is also in videos <laughs> on the channel. And then, and then, mind you, she decided to squish them all together into one, one book. So I bought the same books for the third time in this pretty cover, which is also, is also a vlog on this channel. Okay. And then, <laughs> ah, and then, I say and then as if this happened next. This might have happened before the omnibus. I don't know. The timeline's weird. But, um, she started the little prequel series situation, which I had to get on board with. And this is where the train ended. Because, um, I stopped reading books about two years ago. <laughs> Mostly unintentionally. Um, so there was no, no reason to be buying said books. And also I was broke. So that is where the excitement ended, but I um, was very sad that the excitement ended there because Bethany was still doing Bethany things. So <laughs> this <clears throat> is, is, is a lot of excitement. There's a, there's a hardback in here. I don't remember what I ordered to be perfectly honest. Okay, she did this Kickstarter thing and there were 14 million different options of like the book combinations. Like if you didn't have the original series, which clearly I do, but if you didn't, <laughs> then like, um, if you just needed the like the little prequel series or you need this or that, the other words, a million different combinations. And some of them had like character art and whatever, like there was a lot of fun stuff happening. And I don't remember what I bought, but I, I'm pretty sure what I did was the Queen Jezebel things that I don't, that I don't have them, you know, I need them. I don't know what the hardback is. <laughs> Did I do them all together? The Jezebel books? I don't know. I have no idea. I can't remember. Whatever it was. I have three, four, two, twelve, some amount of Bethany books, which I am so excited about. It has been so long since I have done one of these. <laughs> if you were here five, four, three years ago, um, this was my favorite thing ever, was just getting the Bethany books you know, every other month. Um, and we're, we're gonna do it again, but not right this second, despite how excited I am, because I'm actually trying to, like, 
pack up my life and move to the farm. <laughs> but if I'd gone, I wouldn't. I could have told you about all the books, but I wouldn't have been able to show you all of the books. So that needed to happen. And now we can awkwardly transition to later when I actually open this. Okay, the time has come, and I'm excited. There's a lot of tape on this. <laughs> Too much tape. Hold on. This is not working out in my favor. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> I can't help get in. I'm sure this was very cute packaging before I destroyed it with the scissors. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I intentionally tried to not be spoiled by these new covers. Like anytime I would see a post or something on Instagram or thumbnails on YouTube, I'd be like, scroll away, scroll away. Um, because I did not want to see them before I had them. So, I have a like vague notion of what they're going to look like because stupid thumbnails. But I haven't really looked at them yet. And this one is really pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, so sound. Okay, that's book one. Ooh, book two. Mermaid. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's a weird smelling book, not gonna lie. I don't know why it smells different. I don't know why I'm stuck on the smell. Super pretty though. Oh goodness, they're gonna look really good next to all of the others of the exact same books that are on the... I mean, you know, I showed you earlier. Nice. Nice. Book three. Oh, it's the flower. Interesting. This... I mean, it definitely evokes Beauty and the Beast, but, um... Interesting. The flower plays like zero part in the entire story. Interesting. And there's not... Now I'm being judgy. This is my favorite book in the series. That's why I'm being judgy. There's not even the hint of a dragon on this cover. <laughs> uh, interesting. Interesting. Not even like in the shadows, man. It's pretty. And it does say, you know, Beauty and the Beast with this in glass and glass encased flower. And obviously this has got the mermaid and the Aladdin story has the lamp. Like, I mean, the choices make sense to evoke, like, the fairy tale it comes from. I'm real disappointed there's not some kind of dragon motif, though. I'm, like, <laughs> hoping to find one. I'm, like, studying that there's, like, little golden swirl things among the flowers, like, um, little, I think it's just, like, sticks growing in interesting ways, um, but I was hoping one of them would vaguely resemble a dragon. They don't. There's not, there's no dragons. No dragons. <sighs> it's pretty, though. This one, this makes sense. if it's just the formatting. It's probably just the formatting. But these seem thicker than my other copies. Which I can't compare right this minute because those books are not here. But they definitely feel thicker. <gasps> ah! Now this 
this is the stuff that I haven't read. Well, that's not entirely true. I've read oh, pretty things. Um, what was I saying? I distracted myself with character art. Um, the first book. I read the first book in the series. I hadn't read anything else after The Secret Gift. I only had The Secret Gift. This is a nice sized book. I love it. The Secret Shadow. I haven't read that one. Interesting. Well, this for sure is going to have to be a reading vlog experience as I catch up on the Queen's Rise, but I probably won't subject you to another reread of the other series because there's already like three of them on the channel. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm not obsessed. These are very pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put any of this. I am sad there's not a dragon, though. I don't actually have bookshelves here at this, um, this bedroom for the summer. Which has turned into a problem. We'll just add to the chaos. Okay, a few final thoughts after I showed them off to my sister and then my mom. Um, this one is absolute perfection. I have no notes. It's very pretty. Um, this one is very pretty. This one would be, I mean, like, looking at it objectively as a cover, like, it's very beautiful. I'm still disappointed there's not a dragon on it. <laughs> but other than, other than the lacking dragon, they, they do look very nice. 